you don't need these, you need this. And I promise you're still gonna get all of the classic flavors that you know and love, but without the added calories and carbs. One of the best things about this cauliflower potato salad is that you can prep it ahead of time, just like with the traditional recipe. To make it, you'll need a large head of cauliflower. These typically weigh in around two to two and a half pounds. While most recipes call for either boiling or steaming the cauliflower, I found that if you roast it in the oven, you'll end up getting a lot more flavor and your salad won't get too watery. To prepare the cauliflower for roasting, remove the stem and leaves from the head and cut it into half inch bite sized pieces. You should end up with roughly one and a half to one and three fourths pounds of cauliflower florets. Add these to a large bowl and drizzle with one and a half tablespoons of avocado or olive oil and sprinkle with three fourths teaspoon of salt and one fourth teaspoon of black pepper. Toss this all together until the cauliflower is well coated. Spread the florets out onto a parchment paper lined baking sheet in a single layer. And then bake in a preheated 425 degree oven for 20 minutes. You'll wanna make sure and flip the florets halfway through to ensure they're evenly roasted and to prevent burning. While the cauliflower is roasting, we'll whisk up that creamy sauce. And just like with most traditional potato salad recipes, this one is made from a mixture of mayonnaise, mustard, and a little dill pickle relish. So we don't have too many dishes to clean up at the end. Simply wipe out the bowl that we used earlier for tossing the cauliflower. Then add one third cup of mayonnaise. Duke's is my favorite, but another brand such as Hellman's can work. Avoid using Miracle Whip though, as it has a much sweeter flavor. One tablespoon of yellow mustard. You can also use Dijon if that's what you have on hand. One fourth cup of dill pickle relish. Half a teaspoon of salt and one fourth teaspoon of black pepper. Whisk this all together until it's well combined. Then you'll wanna finely dice one fourth cup of celery and one fourth cup of white onion. Set these aside until you're ready to use them. When the cauliflower is done roasting, let it sit at room temperature until it is cooled completely. And a quick word of caution here, if you add the cauliflower while it's still warm into the sauce, the mayonnaise is gonna separate on you and you'll end up with a really watery and soggy salad. So once the cauliflower is completely cooled, add it to the bowl with the mayonnaise mixture, along with the diced white onion, diced celery, and two hard boiled eggs that have been chopped. You can either boil these the old fashioned way or pop them into your air fryer. A quick 13 to 14 minutes at 270 degrees with an ice water bath at the end should do the trick. Then mix everything together until it's just combined. You can either place the cauliflower potato salad into the refrigerator for a couple of hours to enjoy it chilled, or serve it immediately with a sprinkle of chopped fresh dill. Let's see if this tastes as good as the real thing. Mm. Honestly, I can barely tell the difference, y'all. You still got all of those classic flavors of a potato salad, and the cauliflower takes on a texture that's very similar to potatoes. But guys, you know the drill. I wanna know what you think, so be sure to leave me a comment if you end up making this recipe. Also, if you want a few more low-carb dishes to try, you've gotta check these out right over here. Thanks so much for hanging out. I will see you in the next one. This is not very sanitary, but I've got a head of cauliflower on my head. Ha, 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 ha.